This is a video about twining in spray. Here are two little bonnets. They started off as very similar warps. The one on the left was worked in vertical stripes with interlinking spray. The one on the right has got lines that run diagonal, that cross over each other. How do we do this? Well, I start with a plan. And this is what the plan looks like in my mind. You can see the setup of different colored threads interspersed by white. And this is what the warp looks like in real life. It's one continuous white thread, and at the bottom you can see how I've tied those colored threads as I added them. This is what that warp looks like after I've worked the first few rows. This is what it looks like at the point where these colors need to cross each other. I'm beginning on a plate row, and to do the three thread edge stitch, I bring a white thread between the two purples and I cross the two purples, and that's my three thread edge stitch. I then work in basic interlinking across until I get to this place where I've got these three threads, three pairs that all need to interact. Let's think about this. I'm wanting to move the dark blue threads across first. So that would be technically moving towards the right. And if I move to the right, I have to put threads in reserve. So I'm going to take the purple and the white thread, and I'm going to put those two into reserve position. And then I work the two dark blue threads, one up, one down, as the first pair. The next pair will be I reach through those purple threads to find the back white thread and partner it with this one, and then the purple threads, one up, one down. So now I have transposed those three. So I now work the white threads, three interlinking stitches, and then we've arrived at the place where, again, three pairs of threads need to interact. So I put a dark blue and a white thread in reserve position, and then I'm going to work those blue-green threads. I bring one from the back and one from the front, twining the first stitches. Now it's the white turn. I find a white partner. And then I do the dark blue threads. And in this manner, I'm going to work my way all the way across the row. So here are a few interlinking stitches. And we're coming up on this a third time. I'm going to do the pale green pair and then a white pair and then the blue-green pair. So it's not so complicated, you see? I'm hoping this gives you ideas. The very simple twining movement certainly expands the design possibilities within the spraying technique. Go forth and explore.